Hello, Winabbers. My name is Jesse Meekum, and this is podcast number five for you need a budget.com, where we teach you four rules to help you stop living paycheck to paycheck, get out of debt, and save more money faster. Did something kind of cool this week and interviewed our first success story. Uh, his name's Brian. He is from Massachusetts. And we had a contest a while back and had everyone write in and compete. Uh, I don't know on what grounds, but we selected some winners for the, some success stories. But we had tons of them that we couldn't select, and they were all awesome. And uh, this is kind of our chance to be able to highlight a bunch of different people, how they're using YNAB and how it's helped them. Hopefully it gives you guys some motivation. Uh, you hear people that maybe have gone through the same struggles that you're now going through, and uh, you'll hear how they came out of it and how they're using YNAB to improve their lives. So without further ado, I will jump over to the call. I'm talking with Brian from Massachusetts. So uh, we're happy to have Brian here on the phone with us. So hello, Brian. Hey, Jesse. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for coming on. Um, all right. So I, I said that you lived in Massachusetts, but I'm sure everyone would be curious to know what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a freelance video editor. So oh. I uh, basically make help make TV shows. Um, and uh, I've been freelancing for about 14 years now. Oh, cool. So, so you're a so pro I, at it. Yeah, I, I, I think so. <laughs> uh, do you have a website or anything? So if anyone's listening that needs it, they could, uh, they could pop yeah, over you, to sure, it. Sure, you want to look at it. It's innerparakeet.com. Okay. It's, uh, inner parakeet uh, period and com. Okay, cool. Well, maybe I'll check it out. Like we sure. could probably use some video editing. Um, uh, do you have a family? Uh, yes, I uh, I have a daughter. Uh, I'm not married. Uh, daughter lives down the street, and I live with my girlfriend. So uh, that's my family right now. Cool. Um, Very cool. I'm assuming yeah. you don't need the extended family, right? Oh yeah, uncles and aunts we don't care about. Uh, so yeah. just at reunions, you know, and then right. you know. exactly. <laughs> um, cool. And how old are you? Forty. Forty. 40 okay. Cool. Almost, so you got uh, forty-one in a month. Oh, when's your? Well, I don't want to ask you your birthday, but we probably have a very similar birthday because yeah. I'll be thirty-one in a month. So nice. Congratulations. Thank you. You too. Um, okay. Cool. So we'll have you know we'll have people that are that are hearing this that are also in your same you know, age and they're probably freelancing as well. And so I think it'll be kind of cool to, you know, hear similar stories and kind of get people motivated. Yeah. Um, and so most people want to know kind of where, kind of where you're coming from. And so I wanted to ask you what your situ, you know, your financial situation was prior to using YNAB. And if you want to share numbers, you're welcome to, um, or you can, you know, keep it vague, whatever you want to do. So. All right. So, uh, where I was coming from is um, I moved. I was actually from New York. I moved up here because I knew I was having a, a kid, um, and I went from New York making you know a lot of money editing to a place where you don't make a lot, uh, about half as much. Wow. Um, um, so there was that nervousness, and then uh, for anyone who is a single parent and dealing with uh, you know the court stuff, I had a you know I went through court mm -hmm. and figured out what I had to pay. Um, all you know, all was fine with that, but it was you know, once I saw the numbers and everything, I was like, started the panic. Mm -hmm. um, I had uh, like a healthy savings because I sold a, a, an apartment uh, a while uh -huh. back, just luckily during the boom. Oh, cool. Um, however, I was skimming that money for about a, a about a year and didn't realize that I was eating it away. Yeah, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't even paying attention. I was using Quicken at the time, um, but I, I would just enter stuff into it. But never pay attention to it. That makes any yeah. sense. Oh yeah. Oh, for years. Lots of sense. <laughs> yeah, I did that for years. So you're diligent in the post mortem. Yeah, of, uh, diligent. Yeah. Uh, so if you ever wanted to know what I spent on coffee for the last ten years, I could tell you. But I, it never affected how I spent money or, or any of that stuff. Uh, so, cool. um, so I don't know if that answered your question or not. But yeah. So well, you're having kind of big changes, a move, you know, <laughs> and you talked about the kid, and then going through the, you know, the divorce, which is obviously emotionally huge not just yeah. you know, financially so yeah, yeah. just lots of changes um did you experience any type of i call them pivot points i don't think i made that up but um you know an epiphany where that kind of motivated you to to look for or or start using YNAB? yep uh the epiphany was 
when I uh, had finished with court and I had the, the paper in front of me that said I had to pay, uh, you know, around 1200 bucks a month, uh, which is fine. I'm not, you know, I know some guys freak out about it, but I mean, it was a number that I was, I was nervous about. And yeah. I, sat, I sat in front of my computer, looked at my old version of Quicken, and I was just like, I got to do something about this because I don't know what I'm doing, you know. Um, I just felt kind of lost. So I just started Googling around, and uh, that, was a, uh, that was a pivot point. Cool. Uh, what was the learning process like with YNAB? My learning curve, actually, my, my learning curve with YNAB wasn't hard at all. Um, I just at, at first, I was daunted by it because it, it made me think differently. Uh-huh. You know, but I was the same as Quicken in the sense that I had to just enter in transactions and categorize them. Yeah, so um, you were used to that, you know, that aspect yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't used to any of the rules or the budget screen, how that worked, uh, mm-hmm. and what it really signified. Actually, is, you know, you know, I've I've worked with budgets in Quicken, but I felt no accountability or had felt no grasp or big picture of what I was seeing. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Well, I uh, I hope people are listening to this that are using Quicken, so kind of shake them up a little bit. Yeah, seriously. Um, so how have your feelings changed from that point where you said I've got to do something different? You're kind of staring the paper in the face. How have your uh, how have your feelings changed from from then from that kind of you know point where you're like, okay, I'm going to do something to now as far as your finances go? Uh, I feel like I feel like I know this can sound cheesy, but I feel 100 percent better. Like I feel. I know exactly where all my money's going. Uh, it doesn't mean that I'm always good good about it, mm-hmm. but I, yeah. I, I I can go to bed at night and I know exactly what I've got, where it's going, and if I need to like change course, I can do it clearly and easily, you know. Uh, and so I'm pe- I'm peaceful about knowing where my money is, you know. Yeah. Uh, as a free as a freelancer, it's kind of hard because sometimes like right now I'm not working, um, but I you know I've kind of prepared for that using YNAB, and so I'm not like in a panic. Yeah, yeah, you've get uh, got a little bit of a reserve and kind of knowing there's yeah. up and down months. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. So the website innerparakeet.com. We just want to drop that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You got got some capacity in there. So, um, <laughs> let's see. So current financial situation. Yeah, you're feeling. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you're feeling at peace. It's not like you're uh, you're rich. Uh, I get nah. from your tone. You know. No. Nah. Um, but you feel feel 100% better, which I, I think, better. yeah, and that's, you know, you try and get people, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to be a salesman half the time where I'm saying, hey, you know, buy this software, this is great, and I want people to know, you know, it'll really change your life, but at the same time, you're not selling this get rich, you know, yeah. solution, and so um, you got to just let people know, like, it's really more about, like, changing the way you think about it, and then it'll change how you feel, and right. that's, that's worth a lot, so. Right, exactly, exactly, yeah. like, I don't, you know, I, I don't live month to month, but I, I, you know, I'm, I'm close to that just because as a freelancer. But I, you know, I have a buffer. Yeah. I, have sa- I ha- actually have savings now. You know, I can actually allocate for things I enjoy. Um, but you know, it's still, I still have to pay attention. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I've actually got my. Uh, it's funny. I've been the kind of a salesman with this too. I've got my brother using it. Oh, cool. uh, I gave it to my bro- uh, my another brother and his wife. They they're too frightened to use it yet. Because, uh, <laughs> well, you know, I don't want to scare anyone. But like, you know, when you first use it, you get a big. I think you get a big wake up call because you actually see exactly what you're doing. It's yeah. kind of a depending on who you are. Like I know my situation. I, I had no idea that I was spending money that uh, that was in savings. I was you know I was getting by every month, but I didn't realize this because I was siphoning money out of a savings account. Right. Yeah. You it's know? just little bits no at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just I recommend it to anyone who's a little nervous about their finances. I'm like I'm like you got to try this thing out because you will walk away peaceful. You'll know exactly where you're at. So I should ask you this because I've been thinking about it. Last podcast I did uh, that went out today, and then this Facebook question I posted. I wanted to ask you what one of your things, you know, something in your budget that's kind of your luxury or something you say, oh, I always make room for this, you know, even yeah, though yeah. it maybe seems a little frivolous. A cleaning lady. Twice oh a month. yeah, twice That's a month. Great. I uh, I will not drink coffee. I will not go to the movies. You know, I'll I'll pinch on that stuff. I just there's something about coming home and not having to deal with that, especially uh-huh. with a kid. There's just something nice about that, and uh, I'm thankful I can afford it. And <laughs> you know, I'm that's my that's my guilty pleasure. That's great. Mine's yeah. lawn care. I started oh, doing, nice. well. I have a couple, but lawn care is is one where I started doing this year. I told you, I said, hey, I don't want to spend Saturdays mowing the lawn yeah. and edging and weeding you know it's like it was eating up 
my, uh, you know, at the summers. And so she's like, okay, you can do that. So, uh, you know, they'd come on Thursdays and I'd be down here working. I'd hear them edging right outside my window. And it's the best feeling in the world. I want people to know that like they can budget for stuff that's that's a little luxurious and not feel bad about it. You know, I think I think that's a good message. I, I feel like when you say budget, people think like they're choking, yeah. you know. Yeah. So Well that's what's cool about this is that I can spend money on whatever I want. It just now I know where it's gonna go. Yeah. At all at all times. So yeah. like I you know, and I had to get over the guilt of like like, oh, should I do you know, uh, this is you know, growing up Catholic or something, but it's just like, oh, should I, you know, get a cleaning lady? And I was just like, well, I can afford it. I could either stick this, you know, into another cat because you have to budget everything. Yeah. And I realized I could do it, so why not, you know? Have there been any aspects of your life that aren't financially related that you think have been affected as you've kind of pulled off this turnaround? Uh, can you give me an example of an area? Like, um, well, like what money work with everything. Yeah, like work would be an example. If it has it has it uh, affected how you've done your work or um, client relationships, any you know projects you've taken on, anything like that. Uh maybe and not really. I mean, if anything, I just have a I have a sense of peace overall. Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense, like yeah. I don't, I just uh, I don't get as bent. Like if I don't if I don't have work, I don't get as bent out of shape about it, or because I know exactly where you know where I'm at money wise. So I don't yeah. you know. Unfortunately, I feel like money pervades. At least, maybe for me, maybe I need help, but I feel like it pervades every aspect of of life. You know, it's, it's always. I feel like it's always there. It just doesn't have to be. I don't know. It's 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 not something that keeps me up at night anymore. Yeah, it doesn't have to be front and center. And well, I think what I like about Wineab is that your 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 four rules. You know, the whole the whole concept you have behind this isn't just categorize stuff, make a budget, and look out for red numbers or, yeah you know, it's yeah. not that at all it's uh, you know it's it's you know here's a plan this is what i have this is how i can get out of debt or what you know wherever i'm at mm-hmm. you know and, and this is how i can save all just trying to build awareness you know yeah so i think it's like a, a growing up thing for two for me i don't know like just being able to see what i do financially and uh and it was embarrassing being uh, i don't know if it's embarrassing right now but uh, you know, being 40 and not having a firm grasp on my finances was kind of, I thought I did. And all, all I did was categorize expenses for the last 10 years and quick and, and didn't ever think about what it meant, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. now I'm actually, I can actually, you know, especially with the daughter, it's like, all right, well, if I want to take her here or there, you know, where, you know, where should the money go? You know, like, yeah. uh, should I have a cleaning lady twice a month? You know, you know mm-hmm. should I do this or that? And, and now I know I can and I can feel good about it because I can see it. I don't want if anyone's new listening to this, I don't want them to think that I'm like some shill or something. But I swear to God, this <laughs> thing has been excellent. Like it's it's, it's been like game changing for me. You know, like to know where everything's going and uh, you know, I got my girlfriend using it. My one one of my brothers, hopefully my other brother, if he you know has the courage to look at his finances, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Um, and if and if if anyone is new using this, I just would say to them, uh, just go with go for it just get through that first hurdle of actually setting it up and not that it's a hurdle, but once you see like what you're spending, it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's really okay. It's just, you know, you, you find it, it's, it's almost like, I don't want to see it. And then when you do, you almost feel, I mean, you feel better, like kind of finally having some known, you know, like a known thing. Okay. Instead yeah. of dealing with the unknown where you just have this uneasy right. constantly, you know, exactly. Yeah, I so, I know exactly where I stand financially. I, I look, I use, you know, I, I update it twice a week, and I look at. It. In fact, knowing that was going to come on here, I just started, you know, looking through the month again, making sure everything's where it should be, or, you know, moving stuff around if I needed to, make, you know, making decisions, you know, just making sure everything says not over budgeted. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Honestly, I think this is a great program. Oh yeah, I love to hear it. I am, um, I I'm excited because I mean, you're the, the record. Like if, even if this is off the record, I'm telling you, like this is, thing's awesome. Cool. Like, this doesn't. You know, well, we'll uh, we'll keep trying to improve it. So we've got we got stuff we're working on to make it better about, you know, 900 things. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a it's a long list, but I don't feel like I don't know. I feel like it's pretty tight. Cool. Well, Brian, it was fun. I'm, I'm kind of excited uh, to keep doing these and I'm glad to hear that it's going so well for you. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun to hear. So this is this is a cool new part of my job that I'm I'm already kind of digging. So, yeah, it's cool. man. It's an honor to meet you, too. I'm telling you, this is. 
He's awesome. I will not curse uh, over the radio. <laughs> <laughs> good. I would have had to put a big sensor bleep in yeah. there, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's that good. <laughs> Very cool. Well, yeah, good luck with your brother trying to get him to, to face the music. He'll yeah. he'll thank you for it once he does. But yeah. Um, right, very cool. All right. Well, good luck. And, uh, Thanks. I hope, I hope maybe you land a client or two, uh, anyone needing video I mean, that'd be, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. cool. So, <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you later. Have a good week. Right, take care. Have a good weekend. Bye. See you. Okay. That was my call with Brian. Thanks again, Brian, for taking the time. Appreciate it. And, uh, thank everyone for listening today. Catch us on Facebook, facebook.com slash I or on Twitter, twitter.com slash Y N A B. Uh, let us know what you think. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, um, we're having a pretty good time on Facebook lately, so make sure you pop over there. And other than that, I will catch you guys next week. Keep on budgeting. We'll talk to you later.